Hello guys, Christian Vedder here and in this video you will learn how to swim. If you have no experience in swimming and have never been in the water before, this video will take you from total beginner to someone who can feel comfortable and safe around and in the water. When starting to learn how to swim, it is best if you are not alone, but you have someone around you who can keep an eye on you, especially when you start getting into the deep end of the pool. It is also easier and more comfortable to learn this in a pool or a calm lake than in the ocean where there is waves. It's also more comfortable if you have a mask or swimming goggles so you can see underwater. That way it will feel less claustrophobic. So let's start. Number one, floating. You should always remember that as long as you have full lungs, you are naturally floating in the water. So try this. Go to the shallow end of the pool where you can stand. Take a deep breath and curl your body up like a ball like you see me do in the video right now. When doing this, you will feel that you are floating and staying at the surface of the water. Now I want you to breathe out all the air you have in your lungs and you will see that your body is sinking to the bottom. So now you know that as long as your lungs are full, you will stay at the surface. If you breathe out, your body will sink. In the beginning, it can feel a bit claustrophobic. You should always know that at any point you can just stand up and you are safe. So what I want you to do is take a breath, curl up to a ball, just float in the water for 5 to 10 seconds. Then you stand up, you take uh, some breaths, breathe a little bit, relax, and then you try to do the same thing again. Just have your face in the water floating. Do this until you feel comfortable having your face in water and just floating around. When you feel comfortable floating in this position, you can try to stretch out your body and float with a stretched out body like I'm doing right now. When you're able to do that, you have mastered the floating part. Step number two, we will now learn how to kick to move forward in the water. There is three parts to the kick. One, pulling the legs in. Two, flexing your legs while kicking out. And three, collecting your feet together and stretching your ankles. To learn and get comfortable with doing the movement, you can hold on to the edge of the pool while practicing to pull your legs in, kicking and collecting again and again. It will take some practice to get the move automated so it feels natural, but it's not very hard. When you feel like you got the movement right, you can grab hold of a floating board or anything that floats. Even a big empty water bottle with a cap on will do. This is to keep your upper body and head above water while you practice the kicks when moving forward in the water. When this works okay for you, you can try to float on your back without holding on to anything and just practice the kicks if you like. You don't have to hold your breath while swimming on your back. Just take smaller breaths and remember as long as you don't breathe out all the air in your lungs, you will float. When this feels comfortable, you can move on to step 3, which is using your arms. You can start practicing the movement while standing with just your head above the water. Stretch your arms out forward, move them around while holding them straight and then collecting them. You put your palms together and stretch your arms out over your head again. You should also twist your palms outward when pushing the water around your body. When you get the movement, you can try to lay on your belly, stretch out your body and use your arms to move forward. You use the arms to push your body forward and up so you don't sink in between the breaths. With some practice, you should be able to do this with no problem. In step four, we will combine using arms and legs. You will now pull your legs in, kick with your legs, while you stretch out your arms. As you collect your feet, you start moving your arms around and glide forward in the water. You repeat the motion and you are now swimming. In the beginning, it will probably be most comfortable to swim with your head above water at all times. But when you get good at it, you can try to put your head down in the water as you start kicking. And when you pull your arms around, they will push your upper body with your head out of the water. When swimming like this, you breathe in when your head is above water. You then breathe out while your head is underwater. And as your head comes out of the water, you quickly take a deep breath and you repeat the motion, breathing out while you have your head underwater. This is so that your body is more stretched out and you will be able to swim faster than if you keep your head above water all time. And that is all there is to get you started with swimming the breaststroke. Before we move on to the deep end of the pool where you can't stand or touch the bottom, 
you should feel comfortable swimming around without touching the bottom for a while. It can also be smart to learn how to thread water and how to float on your back so you won't panic if you get tired. There's a link in this description below on how to thread water and how to float on your back. If you can, I suggest you take a swimming course. That way you will learn how to swim from a swimming coach who will help you with your technique and you will be a better swimmer who are able to enjoy the water more. Hope you liked this video and if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe and hit the bell button so you will be notified next time I upload a video. Have a nice day!